Hey guys, what's up? It's Christmas time, and so I thought it'd be the perfect time to do a Christmas book tag. And so today I'm going to be doing the Christmas song book tag, which was created by Hales Hearts NYC. I will leave a link down below to her original video. But yes, I am very excited for this Christmas season. I didn't have anything Christmassy to have in my video, so I made a candy cane pattern out of books. That's right. That's right. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that candy cane. Oh, so glorious. Yes, I could just eat it all up. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with the book tag. You're a mean one. Ah, Mr. Grinch. T -t 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 -t. Name a villainous character that you just couldn't help but love. For this one, I'm going to have to go with... Victor from Vicious by B.E. Schwab. Here's the thing, all the characters within this book are pretty twisted, but you end up finding yourself rooting for somebody throughout this book, even if they're straight up evil. Question number two, all I want for Christmas is you. Which book do you most want to find wrapped under the Christmas tree? This year I've asked for the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson in the beautiful UK edition, and I believe I'm getting it actually. So I'm really looking forward to get my hands on that because everybody raves about Brandon Sanderson, and I want to know what this hype is all about, because everybody that I've heard who's read the Mistborn Trilogy just absolutely loves it. So I'm really looking forward to diving into those books and to see what they're all about and to see if I myself enjoy them. Number three, Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer, Reindeer, da na 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 Name a character that overcomes a major obstacle and learns to believe in themselves. For this one, I'm going to go with a book that I actually don't talk that much about on this channel, but that is When You Were Here by Daisy Whitney. I'm going to go with the character Danny, and he just faces some major obstacles, and the way that he handles everything, he's just so mature about everything, and he doesn't let these battles that he's facing get to him, he just overcomes them, and so I really just respect his overall attitude on everything that he goes through within this book. Obviously, I can't tell you because spoilers, but... Yes. Question number four. Santa Claus is coming to town. For this song, we have two questions. The first one being, what character would be on the top of the naughty list? I'm going to have to go with Caleb Pryor from the Divergent Trilogy because he's just terrible in this book and he doesn't follow through with something in this book and he's just an all-around terrible character and I definitely think that he would be on the top of the naughty list. Caleb will definitely be receiving some coal this year. And the second part of this question is which character do you think will end up on the top of the nice list? For this one I'm gonna go with a book that I felt indifferent about and that is Let's Get Lost by Addie Alsed. The reason I'm picking this one though is because the main character Layla basically she goes on this road trip and throughout her road trip she helps several different strangers just doesn't even know them but she helps them so I definitely think that she would be on the top of the nice list you're definitely getting some presents from Santa this year Layla number five frosty the snowman -na 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 -na. Hey, hey. which book just melts your heart <laughs> For this one, I'm definitely going to have to go with The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Every time I read this book, my heart just still melts inside. It just, oh. I never get tired of reading this book, and it just melts my heart every time because you just see Charlie go through so many different life experiences. You see him find kind of who he is, who he wants to surround himself with, and just, uh, my heart is melting thinking about it, so I'm going to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Number six, Feliz Navidad. Police Navidad. Dun 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 dun. I don't want to sing the song because I'll definitely mess up on the Spanish, and you guys will comment on it. So I'm not gonna even try to sing it. Choose a book that takes place in a country other than your own. For this one, I'm gonna go with a book that I haven't read yet, and that is *The Book Thief* by Marcus Zusak, and this takes place in Germany. Ooh. Ah, uh, I've actually heard that this book is super emotional, and that's why I haven't read it yet, because I just am not prepared to face the feels. One of these days, I'll read this, I promise. I just, I gotta prepare myself, and I'm not prepared yet. Number seven, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I don't know what it is with me and clapping today, but... Which holiday-themed book do you use to spread the holiday cheer? 
Huh. I actually can't think of any books that are solely focused on the holiday season, but I'm gonna go with the Harry Potter series because for some reason this series just reminds me of the Christmas season just because it's so magical and I feel like the Christmas season is just kind of magical and just warm and wonderful and this series is warm and wonderful. So yeah, the Harry Potter series. Number eight, Sleigh Ride. I actually can't remember the tune of this one, so Sleigh Ride. Gotta have some claps in there because I've been clapping quite a bit throughout this video. Which fictional character do you wish to spend the holiday season with? Isabel Lightwood from the Mortal Instrument series. I'll be waiting under the mistletoe, Isabel. Come and find me. <laughs> Number nine! Baby, it's cold outside! Claps. Yes. Name a book that you didn't like that you wouldn't mind sacrificing into a fire. I'm gonna go with Woo, Exit Here by Jason Myers. I really didn't like this book, and so I would have no problem throwing this into a fire and burning it. Just being honest. Number 10, do you hear what I hear? I don't hear it. What do you hear? What is it? Which book do you think everyone should read? Everyone, everyone, everyone. There's an echo in the room. <laughs> this is a hard one because I feel like there's a lot of books that I just want everybody to read. But specifically one that I really enjoyed this year is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I would highly recommend picking up this first book and jumping into the series because it's fantastic. At least the first book is. I still haven't continued on with the series, but I'm definitely going to this next year. So yes, Throne of Glass would highly recommend. It is fantastic. So those are all the questions. You guys should let me know down below what your most wanted book is this Christmas season. Like that book that you hope you see under your Christmas tree. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. Look at that candy land. Candy land? Pretty And so I really... Number eight, Slayla Asail. <laughs> Name a book that you didn't like that you wouldn't mind sacrificing into a fire. So those are all. Oh, so those are all the questions. Oh, oh.